Welcome back. There were more attacks this week on the government's plan to purchase 65 F-35 fighter jets. The Rideau Institute said the government was buying the wrong planes. And the Liberals said they would try to scrap the purchase if the government fails to answer some key questions. Karen McCrimmon is a retired lieutenant colonel and a Liberal Party candidate in the next federal election. She joins me now to discuss her party's position on the issue. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. So why would the Liberals scrap this deal? What are the reasons why you and your party think it's wrong for Canada? Well, it's the way the deal is being done. I think that's the key. The idea that we need some, we need to first start with what our foreign policy objectives are, then what our defense policy objectives are, what our priorities are, and then uh, translate that out into missions and roles and capabilities. Well, that part of the puzzle seems to be missing. We haven't done that analysis. And we've gone right to a sole source without having done that. So what we're asking for is we want a reasonable, rational, structured competition and process to make sure that we end up with the right aircraft at the right price and with the right industrial benefits for Canada. When we talk about a threat of scrapping a deal like this, though, is, haven't we been down that road before with helicopters, and doesn't it end up proving costly for Canadians? Well, this isn't quite the same as what happened back in the 90s, because we haven't even signed a contract here. And the interesting thing is this count contract can't even be signed for another two and a half years. So we have two and a half years in order to do the process that we're asking the government to do, with no uh, impact. And yes, we've made contributions into the program up to the, up to the present point, but there will not be this, the same kind of penalties that we might have faced uh, last, uh, the last decade. To what extent do we have the freedom to, to make our own choice on this, and to what extent are we limited by the agreements we have with the United States and our other allies that, that are pushing us in the direction of these Lockheed Martin jets? Well, I think there, the interview last week with Mr. Williams, who used to be one of the senior defense uh, procurement officers, it was his opinion that we aren't locked in, that there is still quite a bit of freedom, that we could make a decision. And he recommended that we go through the process, the, the entire procurement pro process, because that reduces risk. Okay, that makes sure you've dotted your I's and crossed your T's, and you've made sure that when you're going to spend $16 billion, you've looked at everything that needs to be addressed. Now, the government is saying that the Liberals are playing politics with the lives of uh, the men and women in uniform. You used to serve with those men and women. Uh, what's your reaction to that? Uh, the the F-18s are badly outdated. Isn't it necessary that we move quickly and, and deal with something here, or we might be putting people's lives at risk? There, no, and I, I really take objection to that particular statement. Any time that the gover we, someone disagrees with the government about a military issue, it's, we're putting people's lives at risk? No, I think that's, that's not appropriate. Um, do the F-18s need to be replaced? Yes, they do. They'll, their life uh, expectancy is probably another five to ten years and we need to start now in order to make sure that we get the replacement when we need it but uh, that kind of fear-mongering no I, I, I find that very difficult to accept and what's your reaction to what the Rito Institute was saying that we actually need to move towards something like pilotless drones rather than these F-35s that these are shock and awe fighter jets that we don't need for the challenges ahead I don't think we wanted to presume to be the experts I think sometimes you don't have to have all the answers, but you know, have to know which questions to ask. And so, therefore, that's why we've put those questions forward to the government, because this isn't an, an easy issue. This is complex. There's lots of technical things that need to be looked at. And so we didn't want to presume to have those answers, just right. that someone needed to have them. Thank you for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Karen McCrimmon, a retired lieutenant colonel and a Liberal Party candidate in the next federal election. We're going to get back to your phone calls in just a moment, also your email.